Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloud Place here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we are inside of Saints Row with the game releasing on the 23rd of August. Just around the corner now, we thought we'd dive in to the absolute carnage that is the Saints Row franchise. With that being said, if you haven't already, smash the like button, the subscribe, post notifications turned on, and make sure you check out the Twitch channel. The link is down in the description. We're going to be diving into Saints Row with a heavy, heavy movement, as this game does seem to be something that I am feeling is going to be very, very good, although the repercussions of a lot of the trailers and stuff are leading people to be a little bit skeptical and potentially not even looking into this. This is a little bit of a shame, but we're going to be diving into everything that you guys need to know about Saints Row. So Saints Row is going to be not following Saints Row 4, although that game was an absolute car crash, we know full well that this is going to be taking it all the way to the beginning of the founding of the Saints, where you guys are going to essentially want to be building your absolute criminal empire. And this does seem to look like a lot of the originality of Saints Row and the roots of where it came from, although it does have an absolutely massive twist on it with some crazy enhanced graphical imagery. Now this Saints Row game is set in the American Southwest, Santo Eliso. It's a city broken up into nine districts. Now, if you're looking for things like large suburban sprawl with skyscrapers, where the wingsuit is actually going to be particularly entertaining, then Lakeshore is the place to be. There are also various discovery opportunities and points of interest, while the world as a whole has more verticality than previous entries altogether. We've got loads of things inside of that creation level, including character creation, which has got the most extensive character customization that I have seen in the game in such a long time. And the reboot, thankfully, stays true to it, and along with the numerous different options of gender, skin tone, height, weight, clothing, and absolutely so much more. There is also asymmetrical face customization and multiple different voice profiles, although that's not necessarily my thing. I know a lot of people are really, really into that sort of stuff, with some people spending up to an hour just making their character the way they want them to. Now, you can actually create your character right now by using the free Boss Factory tool, and you enables you guys to be able to create your character right now and import it into the game at launch. This is actually pretty damn clever and I really like the input from that and it means that you guys can jump straight into the game as and when the game launches. And whilst we're talking about customization, of course it definitely doesn't stop there. You can customize an absurd amount of things from vehicles to weapons to the Saints HQ cute crew member outfits and much more. Santo Eliso will also change based on the Saints influence and that appearance can also be customized. It's pretty crazy the amount of flexibility ensuring no two players will have the exact same experience and that is absolutely absolutely amazing considering what we've had from previous renditions inside of the Saints Row franchise. Now, as we just mentioned, vehicles. While we're looking at vehicles, Saints Row offers up to 80 different rides, including cars, bikes, boats, trucks, and, well, you could imagine a hell of a lot more. You can earn them as rewards or steal them and store them inside of your garage and customize them to your heart's content. Equipped in things such as nitrous, towing cables, off-road kits, depending on what the purpose for those vehicles are, and you can use all three if you really want to. There is an absolute endless supply of things you can do with these vehicles and as well as vehicles we've also got things such as wingsuits and we did briefly mention that at the beginning of the video but you don't have to remain confined to the ground at all times if you don't want to. The wingsuit is going to be an absolutely bonkers addition to the Saints Row franchise and you can use it to wind through environments or simply land on a car and hijack it. You can even land on other NPCs to take them down in stylish fashion. Naturally there are wingsuit challenges to complete which provide cash and other the rewards so make sure you're keeping an eye out for those is they're going to be a bit of an interesting change to the way that you're playing the game now going into the combat side of things it still has a mix of third person shooting and melee combat through the weapons are more realistic this time around obviously with graphical imagery is changing throughout the years but what's new are flow and perks as you complete actions in combat like killing enemies causing destruction and whatnot you will earn flow points now once they build up different abilities can be unleashed like attaching a grenade to an enemy and tossing them into a group to kill a massive giant kill chain which sounds amazing perks fall into three categories we've got basic advanced and ultimate with up to five that can be equipped at a time through the range of options like more health has yet to be kind of like really detailed in there we have seen a few bits with the early access gameplay that a lot of people have put up but there are finally things such as takedowns which refill health bars and giant meters and they have to be built up over time during chain kills and stuff like that 
that. There are also certain abilities that will be able to be utilized, such as uh, being able to throw a grenade. They're also locked until you hit specific levels, and this is something which, as much as I don't really want to have to do, I like the fact that there's a, almost a progression system in there. Now, the bit that really interests me is they've taken quite a lot of side factors from GTA. I know a lot of people are definitely going to say that, but you are now going to be constructing legitimate businesses, uh, aka things such as the front faces of most crime inside of the city. You'll be able to make medical clinics that cause injuries for yourself for some quick money, create a disposal facility and use it to dump illegal chemicals or even put together a heist for some cash. There seems to be a load of different things that you guys can do in the more legitimate business slash crime relative. It works really, really well and alongside of that we've got an absolutely mental amount of side activities where you're not setting up businesses or messing around with the sandbox. There are various side activities to complete. Some will be more familiar to the series fans like Mayhem for causing as much property damage as possible within the limit at a time or an insurance fraud or hurting yourself as much as you possibly can to utilize that medical clinic to get the money back from it along with property damage obviously that's going to cause a lot of property damage the property damage we like property damage it's really really weird actually now other things will include like stealing cars from chop shops or carrying away armored cars with the helicopter and giant magnet and even a wave defense activity and this just kind of really pushes into that availability of what the game can really reach and I feel like this is something that is going to open up a whole new directory for the Saints Row franchise that we just haven't seen before. There is a massive movement inside of the co-op now Saints Row supports that drop in and drop out co-op which each player maintaining their respective appearance as the boss. Now both players are also untethered capable of being as far apart as possible in the world without a single issue whatsoever. Perhaps the best quality of life feature in co-op is progression applied to both players. Mission progress, collectibles, customization and more will carry over back to your own save. So if you complete a later mission and return to the campaign in single player, you won't have to play it again when it eventually does come up. Now while we're talking about multiplayer, it is a bit of a shame because given the improvements to the co-op system, it's a shame that cross-platform multiplayer isn't really a thing inside of Saints Row. Now a Deep Silver representative confirmed that co-op was only going cross-gen, so Xbox One to Xbox Series S and X, the co-op is doable. PS4 to PS5 is doable, but not cross-console play. It's probably safe to assume that no cross-play will be between the consoles and PC, and this is something which is a little bit of a shame, to say the least. But as an overall, this does really seem to be pushing into it quite heavily. With all the customization skills and everything that they've done inside, I feel like cross-play may be something that we may see in the near-distant future. But we'll see how it is that this one handles, because what well, Saints 404 did not do as well as what a lot of people had hoped it would do. Now, when we get into the actual content side, of things we do obviously have the expansion pass and it wouldn't be a triple a title with this day and age where uh, the expansion pass didn't actually exist including the gold and platinum editions standalone pricing the saints row expansion pass promises three additional episodes post launch each offers new missions and areas to explore new enemies new customization options weapons vehicles yada 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 there'll also be new diversions which will be interpreted as new side activities so rest assured that the saints row journey won't just end at launch it's got quite a way forward to go but for me this is a game which is going to do very well and there's a lot of things that you guys can really really hope for are going to be a big change inside of the Saints Row series some of which which I hope genuinely do bring the franchise back to its peak the original base game for me was probably the best of the best of it and we're starting to see a little bit more of that come through with some more modern day technology so I'm really interested to see where it is that Saints Row ends up this time in four weeks time and if you guys are interested in it then well this is the channel to be at because we're going to be hammering in as hard as we can make sure you smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe post notifications turned on and i appreciate all your faces for watching this far if you haven't already make sure you hit a comment down in the comment section and let me know what your guys opinions are on the saints row game so far thanks again for watching appreciate you all and as always i'll see you in the clouds